Yo, what up guys? Welcome back to the channel. So this is my 2017 Dodge Grand Caravan and what I'm gonna be doing today is I'm gonna be attempting to remove the uh, cargo carpet. Uh, long story short, I left a gallon of milk in there and I mean, you could imagine the smell. So I tried cleaning it, vacuuming it, it's not doing it. So I, now what I have to do is remove it, take it out so I can do like a real good power wash and get the smell out because it smells horrible in there um yeah so in order to do that i guess i have to get under the seats because there's a couple clips in there screws uh, clips down here um it's actually held down by the seat belt one there one there and remove this piece uh, i could get to the seat belt from here because this one has the little cargo space here so i'll attempt that um this one, I don't know. I might have to remove this piece, but I'll see. I'll see how it goes. So let me get set up and um, I'll walk you through the process. All right, guys. So the first thing I'm gonna do is take off this um, panel right there. In order to do that, I gotta bring the seats down because there's uh, two screws on that side. All right, guys. So in order to remove that panel that I showed you in the back, it has right here, is this one? It has one screw right there and one screw right there. So as soon as we remove those, then I could just unclip the rest of the clips on the bottom and uh, pull that piece out. All right, so I already took off those two screws from there. Now I can start uh, taking off the clips from the back. All right, guys, so I wanted to show you how to put, I put the seats down because I didn't want it to tuck all the way in when I was taking off the screws on the other side because I, I didn't want the back of the seats to get the smell. So just lift them up from here like that. And this is the panel that we're taking off. You get some more light in here. Right there, this one. See, now it's kind of loose. Now it's held down by some clips right here. So once I remove that, then the piece comes out. Okay, guys, in order to remove this panel, it's pretty easy. It's held on by this type of, um, you can call it like a clip or a plastic screw. So it has four, one, two, three, four. And what you do is you stick, get a screwdriver, stick it in there and turn it. And as you turn it, you pry it out. So what you do is unscrew it and unscrew it, put some tension and it pops out. Do all that to the all four and this piece comes out. Now here is when you just remove the rug because it's held on with these pieces. Okay, so then the rug is loose from here now. All right guys, so the next step will be to remove this piece. And all you do to this piece is just pry on it from the middle, it pops out, right, all around here. And you kind of just bend it up and it slides. So when that one is out, you just pull. See, on the back, let's head down for some clips, like right there, right there. And then it has some like push pins clips that go on the bottom. So first, you pop it out from here, up, 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 and you slide it out that way, this way, and this way. Now this piece comes out. Once this piece is out, see it has one clip there, another clip there. Once you remove that, then the, the carpet will be free from this side. All right, guys, I just want to tell you that these clips, they're a pain to get out. So what I did was I have this uh, plastic pry tool and then I have this one. So what I did is I went under the carpet, got it as far as uh, in as I could, then with this one here, and then I did even pressure, and I was able to pop it out. All right, guys, so the next step will be to pop out those covers. This one right there, the other one right here. So what you do, if you see here, is just a cover, you see? space so this is goes over the seat belt so what I did was with one of these I got under and just popped it out as much as you can because it has a little lip on the bottom small lip that holds on to the bottom so it popped it out actually what I did is I turned it sideways and then popped it out and then just dragged it up and in order to take off those bolts it's um It's a three, uh, 13, 16, let me see. Yeah, 13, 16, that's what I had. And this fits perfect. 
see? So what I need to do is unscrew that bolt and that bolt because under here there's um they're held on to the seat belt like that. So once I get those out, then I'm be I should be able to pull it out. All right, guys. I wanted to show you. Once I finish pulling out the seat belt, it came out. All you have to do from there is just grab it from this piece and yank it out. Pull up, put on the panel, and then it slips out. And you pull it out, and that's it. It comes out of one whole piece. As you can see, I already did this side. Same deal, I pulled it out. Now I have to do is just take the whole carpet out. All right guys, so I got the carpet pretty much out. I got everything out of the way. Now what I have to do is just pull it out and it comes out as a one whole piece. There you go. The piece is out and I'm pretty sure it's so dirty from the other side. Damn. Gotta wash all that out. All right, guys, so my next step is I'm here in the car wash. I'm gonna be doing a power wash to it. I'm using my drill with some laundry detergent. I'm gonna spray it all over and um, get it clean. All right guys, so now as you can see, it's all clean inside here. It took me about two days for the carpet to um, completely dry out, but it's nice and clean and dry now. So now what I gotta do is just uh, start installing in the reverse order. So let me get that going. All right, so I got the carpet in. So what I need to do here is um, clip it down here. There's two clips. And then I gotta start um, tucking it under the panels here get it under here so it could connect on the inside like that and tuck it on that side same deal here tuck it under the panels get it under this panel so this could go in there like this but under the panel tuck it tuck it all the way around All right, guys, so I wanted to show you once you get to this portion of the carpet on this side, it's a little bit longer than the other side. So there's enough space, like even with that room with this to get under here and put in the little uh, piece of carpet that goes behind here. Um, if you can see, it's on there. See, so there's enough space to get it in there so that you can put your uh, bolt back here. And then here, it's a little, like I said, it's a little bit longer. So what you gotta do is just open up this or make it easier and just pull it. You pull it, you can set it flat and that's it. And then it has this other piece of carpet that goes inside and you just stick it in there like that. And then you can cover this up again. And that's it for that side. So now what I gotta do is just uh, clip it here and clip it on this side. And on this side, it's the same deal. You see here, there's enough space just to uh, get it under there. So you don't, there's no need of removing this panel. All you gotta do is get your hands under there, pull it, and you can put the carpet right in here. All right, so I already put the clips in here. So it's one, two, and I gotta put this cover back, which is this one. So all you have to do is, um, it has little tabs that slide in here on both sides. So you can get it started on one side. Like that. Bend it a little bit on this side. So you can go in like that. And now you do is just push it down. And that's it for that. Now for this one, um, make sure you put the carpets 
here where the clips are gonna go in, like those uh, plastic clips, like that. So you line up, you line up this piece because there's gonna be some screws. So line it up. The screws like that. Like that. And then you put these back, which is just like a plastic screw ribbit type or clip. Push them in all four, one, two, three, four. And then you gotta bring the seats forward this way because there's two screws on the other side. All right, the easiest way I found to put these uh, plastic screws back in, even though on number 11, 11 mil works, but what I did is just stick a screwdriver and just screw them in like that. All right, guys, so in order to finish installing this trim, there's a screw right there, right there. So you install that one. And then the other one is right here. And that finished installing this. All you gotta do now is make sure you got the carpet tucked in on that side. And that is tucked in on that side. And you're pretty much done. All right guys, so it's pretty much done. Everything is bolted down, the seat belts, everything is in place, clipped down and ready to go. So that's pretty much it for the install. And uh, I actually ended up buying one of these uh, Husky cargo liners to put in there to protect it. So um, if it, there is any future spills or anything that drops sand or whatever, then that will be able to um, catch any debris or water or whatever falls in there. So let me install that and I'll get back. All right, guys, I got the Husky cargo liner installed. If you can see, it fits pretty well. It's, it looks pretty good and it's gonna protect the uh, trunk area, cargo area, and it has like a raised lip all around. So if anything does fall, it's not gonna spill out, which is a plus. Uh, this is the one I bought. I'll be leaving a link down below. So you can, uh, if you wanna get this one, then that's what it looks like. One more thing I do wanna try, I'm gonna put the seats down. Let me see if it pinches anywhere or if it's good. So let me try that. So as you can see, it does lay flat. They're already pushed all the way in and it does lay flat. All right guys, so that's pretty much uh, it for this install. This is uh, how to remove the carpet, put it back in. And one of these Husky liners to protect your cargo area. All right guys, don't forget to like, subscribe. Uh, any comments, questions, leave them down below. And uh, catch you in the next one. Peace.